And Jorginho, if this was your way of apologising for that Tottenham error um, at Emirates, apology accepted. Apology accepted. That was... Mwah. Yeah? Just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's all the fuck we want. Just keep it up. I went from strict to strict though, strict. Understand? Only person I own is myself. Strict all. Man, what a game. What a game. All jokes aside. Now, after the smoke's cleared, um, the mist or the fog's cleared, it was a very, very strong performance by the boys. Um, I mean, going into it, you hear that Jesus is out. You know, of course, we haven't got a party. Um, for these big games, you're kind of like... Ugh. But I'm sure yesterday, or after, you know, after what, six o'clock last night, no one cared. No one cared. You had, what, a 67-year-old Georgino in midfield. Absolutely controlling the rhythm, controlling the pattern, controlling the flow of the game. Um, on, honestly, didn't expect that from him. When I saw him, when, when I saw him on the team sheet, I didn't expect that from him. Of course, there was at times when um, Liverpool midfielders were just stepping into the midfield easily. You know, at times during the game, uh, McAllister, Curtis Jones. But it was almost like, all right, cool. We know Georgino hasn't got the physicality, nor the, nor the pace. But just some of his positioning, kind of just letting them come. But they weren't really uh, going past that. The passes were off because we gave them so much space just in that little midfield. But the block in behind that, they just couldn't couldn't beat it. Couldn't beat it. And what that meant is whenever we got back the ball, the turnover, that space that they stepped into, we had space then to counter, move. Man, it was a beautiful thing to see. It was a beautiful thing to see. Um, the Rock... The Rock, Gabriel and Saliba. And Saliba made a mistake. You know, for, I, thought, I thought it was actually Gabriel um, that made um, the error, the shielding. You know, he, 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 he made the mistake. And, um, you know, I, I still feel Raya could have come for it. But, you know, if, if you've got control of the ball, you've got to get rid of it. Do you know what I mean? But he will learn from that. He will learn from that. He's still learning. He's one of the best centre-backs out there. And he's still learning. He's, he's still learning, you know, and he's got Gabriel alongside him that just, you know, carries him with him. But, you know, they, those two out there were the best pairing yesterday, best centre-back pairing on that pitch yesterday. On that pitch, you know. And I felt like, um, you know, uh, a lot of men yesterday just played like they had a lot to prove. They played like they had a lot to prove. Havertz, you know, he was responsible for um, Kanate being sent off. I know we always hear about Kanate's physicality and this, that, but he was undone by Havertz yesterday. Havertz just used a little brain on him. Boom. Got him the yellows and off you go. You know, Curtis Jones. We hear about Curtis Jones being, you know, I remember when uh, when, when Saka burst into the scene and a lot of Liverpool fans were gassing Curtis Jones. Bro, bro just had two months of good form in his career and and everyone's still gassed two months and his numbers still don't still don't add up to Saka's Saka's worst season when are we going to stop doing this when comparing players to Saka when because when we compare Saka we compare Saka to like the elites Sa Salah compare him to them kind of guys but then like you lot don't compare your guys to to your elites. I, I, I generally blows my mind. Blows my mind. Blows my mind. But, you know, I, I just thought like yesterday, we absolutely dominated them. We absolutely dominated them. The goal they got is because we gave them. Our first goal, wow. We passed them to death. They were pressing. They were pressing, but we passed, we beat that press. 
pass them to death and then Odegaard with a lovely ball, lovely ball to um, Havertz. You know, Havertz could have done better with that just to, you know, or, or at least pass it to Salah, uh, to, to Saka for an, empty, for, an, for an open goal. But it don't matter. He got, Saka was there for the rebound and finished it. Come on. Like yesterday was, and the atmosphere yesterday, yesterday was the first time this season that we've had anything close to last season at last, last season atmosphere. The whole place was rocking. Liverpool fans tried to sing and were getting drowned out. Drowned out with your own fucking song. With your own song. What a beautiful what a what a game yesterday. I'm a lot calmer now. My voice is coming back. I'm a lot calmer now so I can kind of see things, you know, from a from a less emotional standpoint, you know. Um, and do you know what? Yeah, I got to big up Jurgen Klopp because I thought yesterday's press conference, I thought he really did give a good account of himself, you know. Like, like you know, he, he said how how good we were, how, you know, how we outplayed them. And, you know, it was a classy response. Maybe it's because he's leaving. I don't know. But, you know, he, he accepted defeat. No excuses. No excuses. No excuses. We just played them at their own game. High intensity, you know, they just couldn't, they just couldn't cope with it, you know. So, um, yeah, so that, that that was uh that was that was basically that. But at the end of the day, if we can just keep these performances up, getting these results, um, just being consistent, being deliberate, there's no there's no telling what this 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 squad of players can achieve. You know, cause boy, like like man, that, that FA Cup defeat against them hurt. It really did hurt me. I can't I can't lie to you. It really did hurt me. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm the first one to tell you. I am very reactionary because you know I'm living in my emotions most of the time, especially when when my team's playing. I'm living in my emotions, but you know when I step away from that, I can see, you know, I can see the bigger picture. You know. And it's not necessarily sacking Arteta because he's built. He has built a lot. He has built a lot in his time here. And it's not just what is going on on the pitch, but just the whole atmosphere at the Emirates. You know, it's everything. It's not like what it used to be going to the Emirates, where it was like you was almost forced to go there to watch to watch us play. But now it's like, but if you can't even get tickets for games, I got mates of mine that you know can't get tickets. They begging me like, bro, I beg, I beg you, sell me your ticket, bro. You could sell an Arsenal ticket now, easily north of three hundred pound for any game. Not even talking about the, the the top six games for for any regular game. You, but that's because the demand is high. People want to actually feel and, and experience the Emirates at this stage. It is amazing. It is amazing. And if you can, if you haven't, if you can, try try it is honestly it is, it is worth it honestly it is worth it but yeah it was an exceptional game of you know we've closed the gap now to two points can we win the league i don't know i really don't know but i, I tell you what i tell you what from what i saw of liverpool yesterday if they're playing if that's how they if they're the title contenders to city then yeah then city will walk it because there's no there's no way that they can play like that and get out played, cooked, clean, ironed, domesticated. That's what we done to them. We domesticated them yesterday. House pets. Do you get me? But I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. I'm a bit chill now. I'm a bit chill. My emotions, my emotions have calmed down. Um, you know, I'm still. I haven't even watched uh, match of the day two yet. I got home last night. Um, trying to watch on a catch up, and I just fell asleep, man. All my energy went into that game. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go in in a second. I'm gonna make sure the you know the oh, boy the kids are at school. But I'm gonna make sure there's no one. I'm just gonna get me a nice cold water. Yeah, a nice cold water, zero calories. Yeah, and maybe a fruit, maybe an apple and a pineapple, and just and just relax and just take it all in, man. But this is what I want from the boys. And you know what? You know what? And I don't know whether it was tactical or whether it was forced, but Zinchenko coming off yesterday and Kivio coming on kind of just 
change something, you know. Um, I weren't really feeling Kivio coming on, but fuck it, they didn't really have a choice. But I felt something changed. I, I felt like, you know, th there was a balance on that side. You know, there was a balance on that side. And I kind of just let let Odegaard in the midfield and, you know, Rice and and, uh, and uh, Georgino just do their thing, you know. We didn't need that invert too, too, too much, you know what I mean? I, 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 I still don't think it's, it's a system we should play every game. You've got to kind of pick and choose when to play it because sometimes it just doesn't, uh, you know, it just doesn't go how, how it's supposed to go. But I fucking enjoyed that yesterday. I enjoyed that. And if you did, leave some of your, leave your comments, man. Leave your comments. Let me read that. Let me read that. Big up all of you, man. We're trying to get to 3K. So, yeah. Let's get there. I'm out. Come on, Arsenal.